Oh shit, welcome back to the channel, y'all. You already know who it is, it's your boy Justin Sawyer. Um look. It's it's still Monday. So you know what I'm saying? I already recorded a video, but I just wanted to come out here real quick. Or not come out here, I wanted to come on here real quick. And um Y'all y'all read the title, so you know what I'm about to talk about. Look. It's obviously Thanksgiving this this Sunday, or not this Sunday. Um, why do I say that? This week. Um, so, you know, it's about to be a whole lot of eating, but it's also going to be a whole lot of football being played. Um, for, you know what I'm saying, Thanksgiving, and then Sunday we also, also got, you know what I'm saying, football on Sunday. Um, so basically, Y'all read the title. You know I'm about to talk about this Patriots and Jets game coming up this week. You obviously already know if you haven't already noticed that I'm a Patriot fan. Um, by the, I think, two two Patriot football games that I've talked about so far. Um, so, yeah. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video before I get started with this uh, preview. And, um... Uh, Excuse me, subscribe to the channel as well if you ain't already subscribed to the channel. Um, turn on the post notifications as well so you never miss a video on this channel. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me post more of. And I got y'all. Don't mind the do-rag. My do-rag is going to stay on throughout the entire video. I'm getting my ways back. I already got down, talked about that in my last video. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. We're going to get into this video. Look. We play the Jets this week, and um, I would say it. we're coming out. Obviously, we're coming out of a bye week, right? So it's like we gotten the rest that we needed. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. Hopefully, by the time Sunday comes around, we're healthy um, and everyone is able to play. Now, if some people, you know what I'm saying, obviously don't practice enough this week depending on you know what i'm saying who practices for the week before sunday gets around you know what i'm saying then we gotta check the injury report all that if rob gronkowski does not play against the goddamn jets i'm gonna be pissed the fuck off because i'm gonna say it this nigga has done absolutely nothing this entire season Do you know what i'm saying like i know he's one of our goddamn biggest players obviously when it comes to this offense you know what i'm saying and obviously just when it comes to the team overall how how big of an impact he has on this team when it comes to the, the amount of wins we get and and them you know what i'm saying the energy that he brings to the games um so if he doesn't play obviously we're gonna miss that again for the third straight week um i still i i just don't get like I was watching yesterday, right? And y'all know we lost to them Titans. Um, tell me why yesterday they lost to the goddamn Colts. Like, niggas, niggas always do that shit. They always beat us, and then they want to be trash. Like, what the fuck? Look at every team that's beaten us this year, right? Or past years. It don't matter. Like, the niggas just turned to trash. The Eagles won a Super Bowl. What have they done all season? Nothing. They're four and six. You know what I'm saying? Fucking trash. Like, how can you be a Super Bowl defending? You're supposed to be defending your Super Bowl championship that you won. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be talking about you're hungry. You're trying to go back and repeat. And now you're four and six. Niggas is fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Jaguars who was talking all this shit at week two after beating us have gone one and seven overall in their last fucking eight games. Niggas is fucking trash. Um, and then the Titans beat us last week and then they go get blown out 38 to 10 against the Colts. Like niggas win a regular season game against us, act like they win the Super Bowl and then they don't do shit the rest of the season. I just don't get it. Anyways, look man, y'all already know the Jets the Jets are obviously trash. Um, so, 
I would say that I am not concerned about playing the Jets this Sunday, but at the same time, it's kind of it, it's kind of like I do uh, question if we're going to win because of how we played defense last, or not last week, but the week prior, you know what I'm saying? And that offense obviously wasn't really moving the damn ball down the field. Um, and when they were, they weren't really scoring. You know, I think the only touchdown we had was that James Devlin touchdown run, which was kind of awkward. It was weird because it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like a fullback. <laughs> like you would expect the running back to get that. Like I was expecting James White or like Sony, Sony Michelle to, touch, to get the touchdown. But all right, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the, the three losses that we've had, we should have never lost those games. Like, Maybe it's just because I have so much confidence in this team to, to, you know what I'm saying, be that great. But I just, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's the Titans. Anyways, man, you know what I'm saying? The history between the Jets and Patriots is obviously in the Patriots' favor. Y'all remember the Thanksgiving game between um, the Jets and the Patriots when we played Mark Sanchez? And that nigga fucking ran into his own goddamn defender and into the goddamn side. I think it was like a center or a guard, and that nigga fucking goddamn did the um, butt fumble. <laughs> that game is lit. Um, so... Overall, I think it also, also comes down to, you know what I'm saying, Tom Brady having a good game. Obviously, like I said, our offense hopefully could, you know what I'm saying, with Gronk coming back, hopefully just go off. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm expecting this to be like one of them games. Obviously, we lost to the Titans, so we're pissed off. You know what I'm saying? We want to actually just start winning games right now. You know, if we want to have a chance at getting this bye week um, before the playoffs start, you know what I'm saying? Having that first round bye. And then hopefully making our way to another Super Bowl. Then we got to start winning. You know what I'm saying? This is that time where we got to start making our making our moves and making certain adjustments with this team. Um, whether or not Gronkowski plays, you know what I'm saying? That's on him. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't play, then someone else has to show up, and, and that's just that. You know, the defense has to play great. The offense has to goddamn start learning how to fucking catch a goddamn ball. Like, I don't know why niggas is over here dropping wide open passes. Catch the fucking ball. You know what I'm saying? We should be able to win this game. We should be able to, to sweep the rest of this goddamn season with no losses. I think if we do lose one more game this season, I, overall I have us going 13-3, but I think next week we play the Vikings. Um, they just lost to the Bears. But for some reason, I feel like we should lose to them. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was any other team we should have lost to other than, than the Packers, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it would have been the goddamn Vikings, not the Titans. Like, if we were to take third, three losses this season, you, if you would have told me we were losing to the damn Titans this season, I would have fucking smacked you in the face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have I looked at our schedule and said, all right, we played the Packers, that's a loss. Um, even though Tom Brady's better than Aaron Rodgers. So I, have, I had all the faith going into that game, knowing that Brady was going to come out superior. You know what I'm saying? It's quite obvious that the Packers aren't really good this year. Um, and then looking at our schedule as well, I would look at that Viking game and look at that defense like, oh, all right. And then I look at our defense compared to theirs. I'd kind of give the edge to the Vikings defense, which is kind of why I'd say the Vikings would beat us. 
But since they lost to the Bears now, I would want to say that we should win. We should win next week as well, which would then lead the Steelers. Um, and y'all already know every year we play them. Um, y'all already know how it goes, man. They talk, they talk, and they talk about, oh, we could, we could beat the Patriots easy every week. It's this, every year it's the same shit, and they never do it. You know what I'm saying? So we should be able to beat the beat the Steelers. Um, those it's gonna be some tough games. The Vikings and Steelers are gonna be some tough games, but we should be able to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah. So overall, like I said, I got us going 13 and three. And if we don't finish 13 and three, then we should be able to finish 12 and four and just go to the playoffs. And then hopefully, we, you know what I'm saying? Just somehow, some way, find a way to win them playoff games and go to the Super Bowl. And then, you know what I'm saying? Just get our sixth championship. Because I think, looking at the Eagles, every game that they play, I feel like they should have lost. You know what I'm saying? And they're obviously four and six. They're obviously fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that the Super Bowl from last year was a goddamn fluke. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. We saw, we saw us play against them in the playoffs. I mean, not the playoffs, the preseason. And we beat them. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like if we, if we played them this year in a regular season game, then we would beat them. You know what I'm saying? If, if they were on our schedule, which surprisingly they aren't. But we played the Falcons last year in the, in the regular season, so that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel as well if you ain't already subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. Um, so you get notified when I post new videos on this channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know um, some suggestions for videos that y'all want to see me post more of. I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Peace.